welcome back to my channel who's doing well today guys um so hope you have an amazing thursday um it's almost one day till friday that's amazing for the weekend so um i just had to jump on here real quick guys now i was at our target today and we had to get out today anyway so we stopped by target real quick and um i saw this movie on the end cap guys or the they have like these um aisles and on the end there's movies on them and it was at the top. I'm like, oh my goodness. I've been trying to find this movie with a slipcover for a long time. Now, when it first came out, I didn't get it right away. Um, because I do have the Blu-ray, um, of this movie. And so I'm gonna get rid of that movie and just keep this one, of course. Um, even though I'm not like the biggest fan of this movie, I watched it, um, last year. And I'm gonna rewatch this film, okay? So, um... I've always wanted it with a subcover, and I've always wanted to get this edition. Um, and this is the 20th anniversary edition of this one. And this subcover is super, super hard to find. And uh, I posted it to my um, Facebook page. If you're interested in joining my Facebook page for my uh, movies, it will be in the description box below, guys. Just go join. It's pretty awesome. So we have a lot of fun over there uh, talking about movies, of course, and all our recent pickups and stuff like that. And someone had saw that I had posted it on there and uh telling me that the slipcover is really hard to find i'm like i know i've been trying to get it with slipcover for a long time um i love the slipcover so much but like i said guys i really want to give this movie another shot um it's one day i will watch it again <laughs> so um but i did pick up it was 16 dollars, a little more but i wanted it with a slipcover that's the reason i picked it up because i did not want to miss out on the slipcover and plus the other ones with slipcovers were damaged this one was the best one so we gotta go in. if i didn't grab it today I wouldn't be able to find it again. So, and that is the 4K edition of The Big Lebowski. Um, I was like, oh my gosh. <laughs> it was on the top of the shelf. I'm like, I've got to grab this one. This was a must. Um, but uh, I love the subcover on this. But uh, this is a 4K Blu-ray and digital HD. So, I love the art on the front there, guys. But uh, like I said, I'm going to give it another shot. Because um, the first time I watched it, I didn't really care for it. It was kind of boring. But I think I was a little tired at the time, and I'm um, gonna give it another shot, give it another go. So I think my dad has seen this one. I think he has. Um, I might ask him to watch it with me because I love John Goodman and I love Steve Machine and Jeff Bridges. So um, I do want to, you know, who else is in this one? Let's see. Um, mm, oh yeah, Julianne Moore's in this one. Duh, I forgot about her being in here. So and John. Tur Turbo is in here as well. So, um, yeah, I just had to pick this up for the 4K collection. Um, but, uh, you know, let's go ahead and open this up, guys. I'm so excited. But, uh, to finally add this to my 4K collection. Like I said before, I've seen it before like this. I've uh, subscribed it for a long time. And, uh, had to pick it up. Had to pick it up. And then, the guy that responded to my post said he's going to try to go to Target and see if they have any. So, um, I'm not sure when they got these in. I'm not sure. Um, because when I went to Target the last time, they didn't have these. So, I'm not sure when they got them in, guys. So, if you're interested, go check your local Target. They might have it. So, if you've been trying to find it with a subcover, if you, don't, if you already have it. I mean, if you don't have it, of course. But, if you're trying to get the subcover, they might have a few. I'm not sure. But, uh, anyway. They have like three or four, I think. Because I got the best one they had. Okay. I'm just rambling, guys. Hold on one second, alright? Alright, guys. Got the wrapping off. So, this is what it looks like without the wrapping on it. This is from the, who is this from? Oh yeah, the Cohen Brothers, of course. Um, from, um, what year is this from? 2007? Is that when this came out? I don't think so. Oh, 1998, okay. So, um, but yeah, so. I'm not sure if the special features on here are different from the, from the Blu-ray. I'm not exactly sure. But uh, I'm just eager to see what the transfer is like. Um, I think this came out last year, I think. Or is it 2020? I think it came out 2020. Um, yeah, 2020. So, um, just finally glad to add it to the collection. Oh, I love the art. This is really cool. Okay. So, this is the Blu-ray here, and this is a 4K. Got a bowling ball symbol on it. It's really, really cool. That is so unique. But, um, anyway, guys. So, I'll be giving the code away for this one, of course. Um, but, uh, so, you have to make sure to like the video, guys. Comment down below. You gotta be subscribed to my channel. That's a biggie. You gotta be subscribed to my channel. And let me know what is your favorite Coen Brothers film. What is your favorite Coen Brothers film? And I still have to pick a winner for the other giveaway. I hadn't done that yet. I need to do that. I'm sorry, guys. But, um, for the latest giveaway. So, um, but I will pick a winner 
uh, for, on Sunday, guys. So, yeah, let me know down in the comments what is your favorite Coen Brothers film. And make sure to like the video. You have to you have to subscribe to my channel. That's that's the main thing. You have to subscribe to my channel. So um and like the video. So anyway, guys, there's my little unboxing of the Big Lebowski. Yeah, like I said, when we, when I was at Target, I was just, I had to grab it. I had to get this one. So yeah, there's the Big Lebowski 4K Blu-ray and digital HD. So and like I said, this is the 20th anniversary edition. So that's pretty amazing. But so, anyways, that's pretty much it. So make sure to like this video, guys. Comment down below. Let me know what you think of my little unboxing. Let me know if you've seen the film. Where do you like it? Is it one of your favorite comedies? No, I'll, it's not my favorite comedy. I, nowhere near that. Um, I, I don't even know what my favorite comedy is. I have so many. But I finally watched, um, for the first time all the way through, guys. I finally watched A Night of the Roxbury last night. Oh, my God. That movie had me laughing. From ear to ear, it was hilarious. I love Will Ferrell. I love Chris Catton. Um, but uh, absolutely hilarious movie. If you have not seen it, you have got to watch it. Um, that is right up there in my top ten favorite comedies of all time right now. I just absolutely adore that movie. Um, I can see myself watching that again and again and again. Uh, I cannot believe my first time watching it all the way through. Like I said before, I've seen bits and pieces of it, um, and never the entire film, but I'm so glad I own that movie now. It's in my collection. It will not be going anywhere. I guarantee you that. So, but anyway, guys, that is pretty much it. Like I said, make sure to like the video, guys, comment down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel and share this video around, guys, if you will, please. And I guess I'll talk to you next time. Bye.